we're going to be moving this 40 foot uh, shipping container here to uh, my father's property. Um, so what we've done is we've attached chains to each corner. Um, then we went up, up, and we have two smash blocks here, one right here, and then we got a smitty built 17,500 pound capacity winch and we're just slowly winching it up. And we're gonna put rollers under it once we get up a little high. Okay, so now we're gonna reel it in. There it goes. So we added another uh, snatch block. So once we get over this initial pump, it's going to get a little easier. Okay, so it is coming up as you can tell. So we've had to redo our snatch block several times. Uh, this just makes it where it's a lot less strain on the winch and it's a more controlled uh, ascent onto the trailer. So this weighs around 10,000 pounds or so and we're just dead dragging it up so this adds a lot of friction. So it's probably the equivalent of pulling 25,000 with a wheels on it. But uh, this winch is working very, very well. We're just keeping it charged with a little tractor. We put the truck in neutral and uh, chained the ramps up and we actually just kind of pulled it back to try to get more straight with the uh, container here. But uh, we do have some round poles under the back that we attempted for rolling, but it decided it didn't want to roll and it just drags them. But that's better than it being in the mud. Okay, I have MTS coming right along. All right, right there. It's coming. All right, now, the winch is just picking it up uh, due to the height of the winch right here. So we're gonna actually come up from here and kind of make a two X's and then grab where it's at low point. And even with the winch, I'm just dragging it forward. So we got the uh, kind of X set up where we're level here. And we're gonna pull it in. Uh, so we're gonna be putting uh, some more two by fours in between these here. And we're gonna just try to guide it up because right now we're right at that pivot point. And we got a, uh, still about five feet to go. So we're gonna put two by fours on each side and that's gonna guide it just about perfectly all the way up to here. About, probably we're gonna stop winching and then we're gonna push it up the rest of the way with that tractor. And that tractor's not quite strong enough to just pick it up. So it'll work for uh, just pushing it. And uh, this is my setup. We use this for uh, bulldozers and things of that nature. Nothing too huge, but it's a uh, with tongue weight around a 26,000 pound capacity trailer, but the trailer itself weighs 7,000. So you gotta subtract that from that weight and you can, you can get around 20,000 on this without any issues. Um, so, I have this here, this is, uh, I'm thinking 5 sixteenths, um, 4 by 4 tubing here. That's welded to the C-channel, or I'm sorry, the uh, I-beams on this. And then this has a receiver hit, and it also rests against this. I just made this mount yesterday. And it goes right under here. And... Uh, and yes, we do have a tag for towing just about any weight we ever need to. We got F36 tag. About to head out. We got secured up front here. Going across with the uh, rationing pipe load binder. Got it pulled up about as far as we can go. We got stakes on the side with spacers uh, just in case. We went over the top. And we got this. These are uh, 9,200 pound chains. Um, you know, one going back here. This mainly just holds a ramp up. One on each side. Uh, the stakes don't let it go side to side. And then we got 
chain up under there, which has a big load binder on it. Again, 9,200 pound capacitive chain. Another one here. Got these going across to there and up to the top. And uh, yep, that's how you load a container. Oh, we also got uh, lights. So this is a 35 foot gooseneck trailer. So as close to the length we need. As you can see, it made the trip. It's only about 50 miles.